channel my name is Peter Shakespeare favorite the slim giant the smart MC or you can call me Bashimpundu if you like if you are new to my channel you've not subscribed the best thing that you can do right now is to hit the red button switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video you will be notified that Bashimpundu has posted a new video you are here to be informed on what is happening in Zambia and just uh, around uh, the globe so um right about now surprisingly <laughs> the protest that happened the free uh, uh protest the peaceful protest that happened yesterday in Lusaka by the youths of course they did um a John Cena you can't see me on the uh, police force uh, that were in town everywhere looking for or waiting for the youths to get into town so that they can break their bones like uh, they um say they will do it and well of course the youths decided to go in the bush after they hid their venue they just kept on saying, saying on social media to say the venue will be announced the venue will be announced but they knew they will not uh, announce the venue they knew where they uh, would do the protest from and then they just streamed a live video in the bush within Lusaka uh, uh, to confuse the police force that were all over town and well after they knew that these people are in the bush they started looking everywhere you can see the video um on this channel where they were with the vehicles guns going to look for them without knowing which bush they were in but surprisingly what i've seen is really crazy as you can see the writings uh on this video Lusaka police studying protest videos, pictures. Like, they have gotten the video and the photos of the protesters that were in the bush yesterday, and they are studying the photos and the video. Why are they studying the photos and the video? Because they want to see and know the crime they committed so that they can slap them with a crime. And of course, since they've not announced the crime, meaning they have not yet found the crime, I don't know if they are going through uh, uh, their uh, books, the laws, I don't know what they are doing. And it reads like, police in Lusaka say they are studying at the pictures and videos from the 22nd June youth protest, which happened in the bush yesterday. This is to determine what crime youths that protested yesterday could have committed according to Lusaka Police Commissioner Nelson Piri. Well, they were denied a permit and a place where they should do the protest from. And for the sake of peace, not coming with pangas, machetes, stones to break things, uh, the youths decided to go in the bush so that they can interact with nature. Snakes could have bitten the youths in that bush. Or anything could have hurt the youths in the bush. Alright? That's nature there. Say, okay, they don't want to give us the place, the venue, and the permit. Let's go in the bush. A treat like animals. And then after going in the bush, still the police wants the youths that protested yesterday to have a crime over protesting in the bush. Is this the Zambia that we are going to live in? Because this simply means even if you protested from your own backyard, they will still get the video and the photos and look for a crime that they should slap you with. Because maybe they did not succeed of you getting into town and protest so that they can beat you up or maybe shoot at you or break your bones is the reason they are looking for the crime. Lusaka uh, Province Police Commissioner Nelson Piri, who expressed ignorance of the protest, said the defiance of the directive by government for youths not to go ahead with a protest will be determined at a later stage. <laughs> Zambia, my country people, 
This is how we are living. This follows uh, the staging of a peaceful protest by youths led by musicians Fumbachama, popular known as uh, Pilato and Bran Wembia, aka Biflo in Lusaka yesterday. Piri has been quoted by Radio Phoenix saying it was too early to determine what crime the youths may have committed or whether they would be pursued as a determination yet to be made. This is real, really interesting now. So they just don't want the peaceful protest to go like it went yesterday peacefully. They still want the people that protested to be behind bars for going in the bush and protest. And this is 23rd. 5.35 p.m., they have not still found a crime that the youths that protested yesterday have committed, but still they want to find a crime at a later stage. Where have we gone wrong? What wrong have we done to be Zambians? Why has the government taken the professionalism of the police. The people that were supposed to be in town and protect the protesters, they are now working against the people that are protesting. Because I'm sure a protest and a riot are totally two different things. If the youths were rioting, it could have been okay for the police to go armed in, poli uh, um, in town, in CBD, to, uh, to protect uh, uh, the buildings, uh, the cars, and the businesses of people because youths could have gone with stones, machetes, and whatsoever to break things. They are rioting. But then they were not rioting. They were protesting, trying to air out their views, trying to send a message. The only thing that they had were placards, papers, carrying messages that they wanted the government to work on. So why is the government that doesn't want to listen to our cries? Why is the government not showing interest to listen to us. All they want is to listen, is us to listen to them and not them listening to what we want. Why is it like that? I can borrow Alice Rowland's Mosukwa's words. She said, Mr. President, it can only take 30 minutes to listen to your children or maybe even an hour. Yesterday's protest by the youths in the bush only took about 40 minutes. And everything they wanted to say in that video was said. So can the president fail to spare an hour for his children that he loves and cares for? So that they can just tell him what they feel and what they think about what is going on in Zambia. Can he fail to do that? But then we see how they are trying by all means, all means to make sure that they can arrest the youths that protested peacefully in the bush yesterday, 22nd of June, 2020. This is not right. This is not right. It is very, very wrong. They didn't study the case of the people that were gassing the Zambians. They didn't study where it came from. Up to now, we don't have answers where it came from. But they have time 
to study the videos and the photos of the protesters that protested yesterday. What is wrong with our country? What is wrong with our men and women in uniform? What have we done wrong? Just listen to us. We are your children. We are your children. When we cry, listen to us. If what is what we are crying for is making sense, work on that. If it is not making sense, tell us what you are saying is not making sense. And the reason what you are saying is not making sense is this, this, and that. And we're also going to tell you the reasons why we are crying. The reason we are crying is because of this and that. So that we can reason together as a family, as Zambians, and not treating us as if we don't belong to this country. We are the ones that votes for you to go and represent us in the government. That's what we do. We are the ones that wakes up in the morning, early in the morning, to go and queue and give you the votes so that you can be in power and work for us and not to work against us. That is totally wrong. That is totally unacceptable. All we want is to be heard. We just want to be heard. Get to hear what we are trying to send to you. That's all we cry for. Well, my name is Peter Sheikh Skyra Favored, the Slim Giant, the Smart MC. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the red button, switch on the notification bell, so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that Vashim Pundu has posted a new video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share my videos to the people out there. God bless you and Shalom, Shalom.